Yo, welcome back to my playthrough of Detroit Become Human on PlayStation 5. If you guys enjoy the video, please make sure you leave it a like. Let me know in the comments. And if you haven't yet, please make sure you're subscribed to the channel, especially if you're new here. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, last time we started our playthrough of Detroit Become Human, got introduced to Connor, Marcus, and then also Kara with uh, Alice. Um, Alice is on the run. It looks like we're going to be picking up with her. Um, Connor's been investigating, helping out a detective. Uh, played by Clancy Brown, uh, solve some uh, uh, murders committed by deviants, which are androids that have gone uh, have errors in their coding, causing them to feel human human emotions. Um, and then Marcus uh, got blamed for attacking uh, his uh, owner, who he was caretaking for. Um, so I'm sure we'll pick back up with him um, eventually. Uh, but for now. Pretty sure the next part, if I remember correctly, uh, we'll pick back up with Kara. Now again, this is not my first playthrough, uh, just full disclosure for you guys. I played this originally back when it first came out in 2018. Um, I haven't played it since, so I'm going back in doing another playthrough. I can't remember, you know, what endings I got my first time I played, um, what choices I made. So this is a fresh playthrough, a second playthrough if you would, um, first time here on the channel. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited to get back into it. Hope you guys enjoy and uh, let's continue. Do you know if there's any other place we could spend the night? I have no idea. She's gonna have to leave. All right, we're gonna have to find, uh, find a place. Come on, Alice, we've got to hurry. Okay, uh, let's go over here and talk to these guys. We need a place to stay. Do you know anywhere we could spend the night? Nope. Burger zone closed. Let's evaluate our situation here. Won't open before morning. Oh, okay. Open 24 seven, but we can't stay there. Uh, comfortable, but not discreet. We'll need money. Uncomfortable, but save how to get in. Very uncomfortable, but discreet. 
can't sleep here. Ask for help. Okay. Uh, let's go down this way. Let's go in here first. It's warm in here. You'll feel better in no time. We could just pretend to be doing laundry. stuff about bees okay let's get out of here Oh, wait, where'd she go? Oh. Alice, you're freezing cold. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. You have lost. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. Oh, really? for tonight. Door is still open. Maybe we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. Can I help you? I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. 
could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Look, this is a convenience store, lady, not the Salvation Army. I can't start handing out cash to every bum in the neighborhood. Yeah, I think shoplifting will take, uh, I'll draw too much attention. Maybe let's go around the other side. An abandoned house. At least we'd be out of the rain. This place. I know. But it's just for one night and no one will look for us here. We would need a wire cutter. Are there wire cutters back? Well, actually, maybe there might be some wire cutters back here. I don't want to go back to the store just yet. Cutters. Are you all right? Yes, it's just a scratch. Be careful. Don't worry, we're just having a look. Alice? Alice! Wait! 
Dave, what are you doing? Visitors. Ralph doesn't like visitors. They're nasty. They may hurt Ralph. I don't know what the humans did to you, but she had nothing to do with it. All humans want to hurt us. No, 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 no. But Ralph won't let them hurt him again. No, he won't let them. She's just a little girl. She's not going to hurt you. Little girl? She's not a little girl. Anyway, what does that matter? Maybe she wants to hurt Ralph. Look, I'm an android too. We have nothing to be afraid of. All we want is a place to spend the night. Visitors are dangerous. Look. What they did to Ralph. You have nothing to worry about. We're not going to do you any harm. You have my word. You must excuse Ralph. Ralph still finds it difficult to control himself. Sometimes his fear makes him do things he regrets. Ralph has seen some hard times. Mm -hmm. He's just so scared the humans will get him again. You can stay if you want. Ralph won't hurt you. Okay. We'll just stay the night. <laughs> Put the knife down. Come, come, come on. This way. Ralph has lived here since he ran away. Ralph never goes outside, so no one knows he lives here. Humans come in to squat from time to time, but, you know, Ralph just hides till he leaves. Make yourself at home here. Ralph is going to go into the other room. He would like to stay with you. But he has things to do. It's just for one night, Alice. We'll find a better place tomorrow. Right. Let's see where you can sleep. Sit down and I'll start a fire. Ra9. What does that mean? Ah. Huh. What? Those symbols. Why are you writing that? I don't know. The other android, also Ra9. I don't know.
I am alive. Yeah. You can come to bed. I did what I could. It's not much, but at least you'll be warm. Let's check up here while we can. Okay, there's nothing else up here. Those are creepy. Hmm. Why didn't he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. Nah. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Why can't we just be happy? You'll yeah. never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. I promise. Will we be together forever? Forever. Poor kid. Okay, cool. Several different outcomes. Holy cow. All right, let's continue on. All right, they found a place to sleep for the night. Marcus.
Impaired vision, corrupted mind, Alice. All systems low power mode, defective. Not good. Uh, yeah, missing, unable to stand. Where's the other one at? Audio processor corrupt damage data. Light component compatible. Ah. Got it. Really had to flick it. All right, that's the left leg. Incompatible. Super messed up.
compatible. Putting ourselves back together. Okay, this is actually pretty cool. Okay. That's good. Good audio compressor. Climb yet. Ooh. 
There we go. Marcus. Nice. Very nice. All right. So Marcus is alive. That's good. Kara and Alice are in a safe place. Are we going to go back to Connor next? All right. We're back with uh, Connor. Hmm. I think I see her over there. Hmm. Okay, can't interact with anything else. Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. Congratulations, Connor. Finding that deviant was far from easy. And the way you interrogated it was very clever. You've been remarkably efficient, Connor. Thank you, Amanda. Hmm. We've asked the DPD to transfer it to us for further study. Okay. And teach us something about what happened. The interrogation seemed challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. 
as if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. Mm -hmm. What do you make of him? I think he's irritable and socially challenged. But I also think he used to be a good detective. He's an intriguing character. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? Uh, adapt. I will adapt to his personality. It is in the best interest of the investigation that I avoid conflict and try to accommodate his psychology. She didn't like that answer. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. You don't want us there to adapt? Is that circulation. it? If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. Okay. I don't know if I trust her. Go to reception. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. <laughs> Tensions in the Arctic have reached a new level. A Russian carrier and an American patrol. Nice. Last, last night. Several warning shots were exchanged. Apparently with no damage or casualties to either oh. side. Right. I'm looking for Lieutenant Anderson's desk. Spoken of intolerable it's that desk right there. It cannot go unanswered. The countries in the region, particularly Sweden and Canada, have called for military okay. and an international conference to be held. So far, there has been no response from either Moscow Oh, Carl. You and you come with me. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Fair enough. Thanks. Dark heavy metal. Call Hank Anderson. Hi, this is Hank. Not here at the moment. You can leave a message if that's what turns you on, but don't expect me to call back. Okay. Beep. You take a look at these samples yet?
Let's look at his desk. Detroit police dismantle a network of red ice dealers. Hank Anderson, a young but hugely talented detective, is said to have been instrumental in the operation. Dev Anderson promoted to the rank of lieutenant. I'm the youngest lieutenant in the Detroit police force. Okay. I'm on the most talented police I've ever worked with. And is already being tipped as a future commissioner. Red Ice in Detroit. Which Red Ice is, uh... The same substance that was uh like todd was using oh he had a dog anti-android slogans hmm See you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office. I've got ten new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Mm. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. So he was Jeffrey, decorated, Christ, but something you doing this to me? You know happened. You these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen. I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Oh. Uh. I'm very pleased to have joined the team. I can assure you I'll do my very Close best. Close the door on your way out. Okay. Have a nice day, Captain. Uh, let's see here. Before we go talk to Hank. Look at that. 
Our friend, the plastic detective, is back in town. Congratulations on last night. Very impressive. Hello. My name is Connor. Never seen an android like you before. What model are you? RK-800. I'm a prototype. A prototype? Android detective. Mm hmm So a machine's gonna replace us all. Is that it? Hey. I would be concerned about that, coffee, to be honest. Uh, Get okay. A move on. That was a bit... I'm sorry, but I only take orders from Lieutenant Anderson. Oh, oh. <laughs> If Hank hadn't gotten the way yesterday, I would have fucked you up for disobeying a human. Stay out of my way. Because next time, you won't get off so easy. That was rough. Several sources report that CyberLife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police is Listed for several years now, this would be the first case of an android. Okay, that was the observation room that we were in last time. Here's the deviant from last time. They're going to destroy me. I'm sorry. It's not what I wanted. But there's nothing I can do. I know there's something you didn't tell me. I need to know before they take you away. What you wrote on the wall, RA-9, what does it mean? Oh. I'll call Cyberlife. Clean this mess up. Okay, that's not good. All 
I guess we'll talk to Hank. Uh. Listen, hey. I know you don't like taking a look at these samples yet, but we're going to have to work together. We'll both have to make an effort. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. We really need the forensics. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. to Knights of the Black Death. I really like that music. It's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. Ah. Uh. Uh. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hair's on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. I call him Sumo. Okay, cool. I'm not gonna ask about the anti-android stuff. I think that would be... Ugh. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah. Too long. Uh, Hours, I feel like I'll inquire about what time he gets into the office, but I think that might irritate him. The anti-android stuff I kind of want to ask about and pry into, but... Eh, well... A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? Yeah. There is one. Okay. All right, what is this? If you have any files on deviance, I'd like to take a look at them. Take a look at these samples. Terminals on your desk. Back yourself out. Okay, uh, disappearance, droid disappeared, uh, an attack, lunged at him and attempted to strangle before leaving, androids still at large, another attack, uh, we've got another disappearance. Attempted murder. Victim was Leo. Oh, is this uh yeah, painter, famous painter Carl. This is uh Marcus's file. Destroyed. Um I just thought to be a prototype. Oh. Because I know Gar is just a uh housekeeper. Uh and uh Obviously, Connor is also a prototype, an advanced prototype, so it seems like Marcus was also an advanced prototype of some kind. Which also makes more sense, also considering, you know, since, I mean, uh, Carl was really wealthy, so he probably had the means to get a prototype. It's interesting. 
and then uh, Kara's case file. Two hundred and forty-three files. The first dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX-400 is reported to have assaulted a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. You know, I we shouldn't really press. I understand you're facing personal issues, Lieutenant. But you need to move past them, and- Hey, don't talk to me like you know me. I'm not your friend, and I don't need your advice, okay? I suggest you sort out your personal issues, and let me work with someone more competent. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. No, no, Listen, no. Asshole. It was up to me. I throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. Or things are gonna get nasty. Lieutenant, uh, sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that attacked the guy last night. It's been seen in the Ravendale district. I'm on I it. I did not mean to do that. The other two were, were, were threatened and... The other, I. Uh, uh, okay. Um. We'll just continue on. Oh, we're back with, uh, Car and outs. Cool. Okay, yeah, there's more wood right there. What's this? Eh, I didn't see this last time. Cyber wildlife. Huh. Canada's still Android free zone. Air is clean and the welcome always warm. By the United States voting in its Android Act as early as 2028, Canada Parliament has yet to again, yet again, push back its decision on whether to permit Androids in the country. As a result, Androids are still not sold in Canada and have no official status in this country. Androids continuing to fuel unprecedented growth in the U.S. economy, yet contributing to record levels of unemployment the argument for and against android is putting them on sale in canada rages on but for the time being canada remains an android free zone oh canada
might come in handy later. Broken watch. Do, does android hair grow back? Hey, it's go. You've got officers sweeping the neighborhood in case anybody saw anything. Okay, well, let me know if they turn anything up. What are you going to do with that? I have no idea. Kind of just standing there. It took the first bus that came along and stayed at the end of the line. Its decision wasn't planned. It was driven by fear. Androids don't feel fear. Deviants do. They get overwhelmed by their emotions and make irrational decisions. All right, well, that still doesn't tell us where it went. Hmm. It didn't have a plan, and it had nowhere to go. Maybe it didn't go far. misunderstandings. <laughs> Ralph will cook. We will do just like humans do. Humans like burnt meat. <laughs> come. Come and sit down. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> Ralph went to a lot of trouble to find something for the little girl to eat. Wouldn't be polite for her to refuse, would it? <laughs> great. Great, great. <laughs> succulent, you'll see. Succulent. Succulent. <laughs> Father, mother, little girl. Please, Clara. I don't want to eat that. What did she say? 
She said she doesn't want to eat it. Well, maybe it's not good enough. Maybe she's used to better things. But Ralph did this for her, so she's going to eat! Go ahead. Eat. I saw the body upstairs. You killed that human, didn't you? No. No, he was like that when Ralph found him. You said you wanted to be like a family, Ralph. Father, mother, the little girl, remember? father would never threaten his little girl with a knife to make her eat. Ralph went to a lot of trouble. That's why. He just wanted the little girl to eat. Ralph is not bad. No. Not bad. Then let us go. Anybody home? There's blue blood on the fence. I know another android was here. Fantastic. Signs of software instability. Self destruct moderate. Burn marks. Gardener. Are there any other androids here? Other androids? No. Ralph is alone. I'm looking for an AX-400. Have you seen it? Ralph's seen nobody. There's blue blood on the fence. I know another android was here. Ralph scratched himself coming through. That's Ralph's blood. Is anyone upstairs? No. Nobody. The Run, stairs. Quick, uh... Oh boy, here we go. Connor, what's going on? It's here! Call it in! 
Which way did it go? That way. They're headed for the train station. Two of our characters are meeting. Oh no 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 no! Bad idea! Bad idea! Bad idea! Bad idea! Bad idea! Bad idea! Bad bad bad. Oh fuck! That's insane. I can't take that chance. Now you will get yourself killed. Do not go after him, Connor. That's an order. That was stressful. Guessing this could have been different, a bit different based upon where we stayed the previous night. Okay. All right. Well, uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to call it there guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, cars on the run. Connor's on her trail. Uh, Marcus is alive. We only spent a little bit of time with him today, but he is alive. He, uh, repaired and made it out of the dump. Uh, yeah, the junkyard filled with that was that was terrifying um yeah uh i think it's gonna take a lot of work to get hank to like us um to like connor um but uh anyways uh we'll continue on next next time uh if you guys enjoyed the playthrough please make sure you leave it a like let me know in the comments and also if you haven't yet please make sure you're subscribed to the channel helps out a whole lot i greatly appreciate it. hope you're all doing fantastic and i'll see you all in the next one peace